Ayahuasca is one of the most mysterious and one of the most ancient psychedelic substances in the world today. According to various estimates, it's been in continuous use for around 5,000 years by indigenous people in the Amazon basin. But despite being used for thousands of years, here in the 21st century, we understand remarkably little about this psychedelic brew. In fact, did you know that the origins of ayahuasca are a complete mystery? As I'll explain in this video, the discovery of ayahuasca is so astronomically improbable that here in the 21st century, modern science has no idea how this psychedelic substance originated in the first place. And not only is this fascinating to consider, it actually raises some important questions about our understanding of the nature of reality. Just last year, I posted a video on this channel describing my own experience with ayahuasca in which subjectively I saw a past lifetime. To say the least, that was a life-changing experience and I'm forever grateful for that. Ayahuasca is a psychedelic brew that's made by combining two plants native to the Amazon rainforest, the copy vine and the leaves of Socotria viridis, or the chacruna plant. The vine is pounded and mashed and then combined in boiling water with the leaves of the chacruna plant where it's reduced down into a thick brown liquid. The leaves of the chacruna plant contain NNDMT, which is the main psychedelic substance in ayahuasca. DMT typically isn't orally active because there's enzymes in the stomach that break it down before it can be absorbed and fully ingested. However, this copy vine just so happens to contain an MAOI enzyme inhibitor, which blocks the stomach from breaking down DMT and makes it orally active. So here's the question, how did indigenous people 5,000 years ago figure all this out? I mean, it seems pretty unlikely that they would just choose two random plants out of the entire Amazon rainforest. It is truly amazing to consider that the Amazon rainforest is one of the most biodiverse ecosystems on the planet with well over 80,000 plant species that have been documented. There are likely thousands of plant species that have yet to be discovered there as well. So conservatively, if we're doing the math here, let's say there are 100,000 different plant species in the Amazon, and we're choosing two. 100,000 times 100,000 is one in 10 billion odds of accidentally choosing the right combination of the chacruna leaf with the copy vine which is just wild to consider, but in reality, the odds are actually even lower than that because how would these ancient people have known that such a combination exists in the first place? Even if they did know that such a combination existed, how would they know how to actually concoct or prepare the recipe of this psychedelic brew? Modern science essentially tells us that the discovery of ayahuasca was a lucky chance occurrence, a happy accident that happened over years or generations of trial and error. But is that really true? Is it really true that the discovery of ayahuasca was just some happy accident? Maybe not. What's really interesting is that if you ask the indigenous groups themselves, Every indigenous group that uses ayahuasca in the Amazon has an oral lore or mythology around the discovery of this plant medicine, and they all say essentially the same things. All of the shamans in the Amazon tell us that the discovery of ayahuasca was no accident. They all say that they received the knowledge about which plants to use and how to make ayahuasca directly from Mother Earth, from the spirits of nature, from the spirits of the plants themselves, while they were in visionary or shamanic or non-ordinary states of consciousness. In other words, they received this information rather than just stumbling upon it accidentally. Could it be that the discovery of ayahuasca, at least in part, has supernatural origins?
Now, as wild as that may sound and as quick as modern science is to dismiss that idea, could it be? I mean, it's amazing to note as well that the ayahuasca experience itself seems to suggest that there is way more to this whole mystery of life than the physical universe that we can perceive with our senses. This is the essence of the ayahuasca or the DMT experience, that it offers an encounter with non-physical realities, an invisible landscape beyond space and time, and beyond access of our ordinary sense perception, right? And most of you out there who have tried DMT for yourselves would probably agree that at least in part, what these experiences seem to suggest very, very clearly is that there are supernatural or transcendent or non-physical aspects of reality way beyond anything that modern science has even begun to discover. This is all just another example as to how the mysteries around psychedelics take us straight to the heart of some of life's biggest questions. Is there more to the mystery of life than what we can perceive with our physical senses? Is there more to what we are, to consciousness, than this one physical body? After trying DMT, after trying ayahuasca, personally, I would say 100% yes but i'm very curious to hear your thoughts please comment down below does ayahuasca or dmt or the psychedelic experience provide evidence of a greater reality beyond the material or physical universe personally after having tried both dmt and ayahuasca i would say absolutely yes so my name is jonas i'm the founder of inner vision psychedelics Please check me out on that website and you can also visit me on Patreon to support this work of psychedelic education and consciousness exploration. I appreciate it so, so very much. Thank you all and I'll see you back here very soon.